PWSAA Board of Control met for some 90 minutes earlier today, focusing on the fall sports calendar following the TWSAA dead period. Volleyball, golf, and cross country all given the green light to proceed with their seasons as planned. Girls soccer and football needing to adapt to Governor Bill Lee's executive order extending through at least August 29th. Well, new at 4, WATE sports anchor Jordan Kramer joins us now in the studio. So, Jordan, Football's future is the most uncertain. Right. We know for girls soccer, the plan is to extend their season a few weeks to allow for a full postseason. But when it comes to football, Bernard Childress, executive director of the TSSAA, said delaying the season is not as easy, which is why he presented the board with three options for the year. Now, these are a little confusing, so I'm going to do my best to explain them for you. Option number one, TSSAA member schools would play a seven-game scheduled season as determined by the TSSAA. The postseason would start as scheduled for November 6th and would include a 32 team bracket. Teams who do not make the postseason would have the option to play two additional games, bumping their season to nine games. Looking at option number two, it's kind of similar to that option number one. The TSSAA would again dictate the schedule, but it would be an eight game season. The first round of the postseason would be cut and the postseason would consist of a 16 team bracket made up of region champions and region runner ups. Again, teams who do not make the postseason would have that option to play two additional games to bump up their season's games. Then the third option presented, that one kind of varies the most from those first two. Teams would play a nine game regular season schedule and would keep their current schedule. That's kind of the biggest difference in that one. The first two rounds of the postseason would be cut, picking things up in the quarterfinal stage of the playoffs. Only region champs and would make the postseason as well, composing of an eight team bracket. Now prior to today's proposal, the TSSAA had reached out to their coaches association for plans for an altered season. Option number three, according to Childress, was overwhelmingly the most popular. Overwhelmingly, they wanted us to look at the third option where they pick up at the fifth contest and they are allowed to play their games. We eliminate two weeks of the playoffs and uh, only bring the regional champions, quarterfinal, final, quarterfinals, semifinals, and finals. Like 56% of the coaches voted for a plan very similar to that one, and it kind of shocked us. Uh, so overwhelmingly, they were on page with us, and they've been really, really good. And I think right now, football coaches. Uh, in their minds is just give us the opportunity to, to play and we will make it happen. We'll do what you all need us to do. Now I have reached out to several area coaches and discussed the three week preseason as well as options presented today and the ones that I've spoken to really echoed what Childress just said. They will do what is asked of them to have a season. They also feel like that three week preseason is adequate time to get their teams ready. Childress did request that the board make a decision by July 8th. And again, all of this is tentative on Governor Bill Lee's state of emergency expiring on August 29th.